Hi guys, it's Debbie, for anyone who doesn't know, which is most likely all of you. <laughs> Y'all saw the Kylie uh, tutorial on Vogue. I didn't go out and buy every single thing that she put in there. I just kind of am improvising. I am a big fan of that family. They make their coin, they do their thing, they're beautiful. I have only ever heard that they're nice. But we're just gonna get started. She said that she already had her moisturizer and some lip balm on, so I did that. First, I start with my brows. Brush them up. Your girl is gonna need to use a mirror. And seal right underneath to shape the brow, and then I uh, apply it all over my lid as like a base for my eyeshadow. And then she said that she took some face powder and set her eyelid. I'm using one of my new palettes. I'm going. Okay, so, um,. You guys know the struggle of getting um, one of the Kylie palettes. So I'm using the Naked Heat palette. So some of the matte shades. And I'm just pretty much like shaping my eye. I'm gonna do kind of like a simple eye today. Now I'm gonna go in with this darker brow. It kind of gives me more of like a cut crease. I think this is definitely something that you would do if you had her eye shape. I'm gonna try my best though. Summer. Perfect for the summer. Just take it on my finger. Bright gold that has kind of like a copper hint. Okay, what's next? Orange. Has some shimmer to it and put it in my tear duct. Androgyny palette and take the color Charm. Just place that on the inner corner of our eye right here. Orange just makes brown eyes look so bomb. Access. Makeup wipe. Wipe the excess away. I found these Marc Jacobs Fantasy Dew Drops and I'm kind of obsessed. Like Fantasy Dew Drops. Don't have that, but I have this. So I'm gonna do like four squirts. Four squirts? I'm gonna do like one and a half. Okay, she added her foundation to the Dew Drops. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do that much. In the video, she's using like a big old brush. So I'm gonna do that. She doesn't really use her fingers. It doesn't look too heavy. Let's take it down to my neck. Down to my neck. Bring that out. Blending it out, blending it out. Button increasing and blending it out. I've never used a brush like this to blend out my foundation. This is great news. Oh, wow, this Morphe brush is really shedding all over my face right now. What happens next? What happens next? I don't want makeup. I don't want my dad have that. I don't really want me to wear makeup. I hadn't thought about like, when did you guys start wearing makeup? I started wearing makeup in sixth grade and junior high, but I was not really like knowing what I was doing. I was more like just going to Rite Aid and buying like foundation sticks and just like um, going to town. I'm gonna take the same foundation I used and line the top of my brows since I did my brows before. Okay, take my concealer brush. Wow, this coffee's kicking in. Good morning, everyone. That looks nice. I like to mix my concealers. So she mixes her concealers. I'm gonna take the, um, like a pinkier concealer by Becca. Place that under my eyes. She mixed it with her other concealer. She put it down the bridge of her nose. Oh, oh, yeah, a little bit on her chin. My phone is like all the way down there on like a little table. This looks like a much less cute version of what she did. <laughs> Oh, girl supporting girls. You guys follow Adeline Morin on Instagram. She came out with these uh, sweaters that say girl supporting girls and they're like these yellow sweaters and obviously like yellow and orange are like my favorite colors. I want one, but I don't know if they're sold out. I really want one though. It's taking forever to blend out. What is next? Use Kim's setting powder. Chanel. Okay, I don't have Kim's setting powder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the Revolution baking powder. I'm gonna bake under my eyes with that. She takes the Chanel A setting powder. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury one. Looking good so far. Little bronzer. I'm just gonna go right under my cheekbone. For my face, I place my contour mainly like right at the edge and then I kind of like blend it out. I do this too. So she puts it, focuses a lot more towards the edge. And then she does like a three. Okay. She's baking. Important to do this after your bronzer because I feel like that's what it 
this and she took it all the way to her mouth. Yeah? I'm pretty sure she's using a Kylie lip liner, but I don't have a Kylie lip liner right now. Okay. Maybe I can do it with my eyes closed. What if I could do it with my eyes closed? Let's do this. It's pretty good. That doesn't look too bad. Looks kind of bad, but not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Nova lipstick. And this was the first, this is why I want to use this, this specific product. First Kylie product I've ever purchased. It's the Exposed Liquid Lipstick. And um, yeah, so I want to use that. It's kind of similar to the Nova color. Just kind of dabbed it in. I feel like my lips turned out darker than hers. I was insecure about my lips. I tried to make them to help To make them look plump and luscious, am I right? <laughs> so now I'm going to do. Um, Shade my guys. I'm gonna go in again with alcoholic. She goes like in a different order than I'm used to, but like I'm down for it. Like, she baked and then did her lips, and now she's doing her under eyes. The orange color again, and drag it underneath. Take that charmed color or charm color, and smoke that under the eyes. Oh, she did use the Kim Kardashian brightening powder. I didn't notice that the first time. Wait, hold up. So she did contour her nose and she did brighten, so we're gonna do that really quick. And then she contoured her nose just a smidge. This is getting really glam really fast. This is my favorite part, and I'm gonna use Barely Legal. Um, I love this pink color. I smile. Okay, and then she wipes this off. She takes some mascara. Okay, so she does her lashes, and she has eyelash extensions, and I don't have any right now, I do love them. Just for today, I'm gonna put mascara on. I'm hoping that the Better Than Sex is gonna like, you know, give me a lot of, a lot of uh, lift and fullness and length. So I'm just gonna do a very light layer on my lower lashes. Little baby lashes kind of have some length, but not really, so just don't mind that. <laughs> the lighting is changing. Cause they use natural lighting in these Vogue tutorials. Watch like they're in front of a window, but like outside of the window, there's like all these like ring lights and like lighting. <laughs> this is a pretty like yellowy gold, but not too dark color. So we're gonna use the Bretman palette. We're gonna use Maui. I like these highlighters better when you spray them. Very nice. Where did she put it? I like to use a small brush brush on my eyes. She does go down the bridge of her nose. I want to make new glosses and see if this one works out. Okay, and she's taking a gloss. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. This one's not as like opaque as hers that I tried to take like a a nude. Buxom and white Russian. Brow gel. I take the tip. Brow gel. Which like holds the most product. And I like wipe like, all the products off first. Brush it up, okay. okay she puts it right here and then she brushes it up. That is a lot of product. No wonder her eyebrows always seem so like lifted and held together. My brows be going rogue, so I'm down for extra brow gel. Okay, then she takes more blush. It just makes me like just feel amazing. Drowning in blush right now. I'm drowning in blush. Why? Because I feel like I'm spraying makes makeup look better in person. It does look better. Powdery. So ruin. Makeup, but then I actually think my makeup looks fantastic. I used new techniques and I went in a different order. And this is why it's fun to get your makeup done by makeup artists and why it's fun to copy other people's makeup routines because you learn something new every single time. Kylie has a freaking cosmetics line. Of course she knows what she's doing. You know, she's playing with makeup all day, every day. Check out her video. I'm sure you already watched it. It's always nice like watching um, her in video because I feel like her voice is very like ASMR kind of, like very like relaxing to listen to. Okay, feel free to subscribe down below and comment. Let me know if you like it by liking this video you know um follow me on instagram it's at debbie church um and let me know you came from youtube bye <laughs>